So this is uh, the Gyro Stabilize camera platform. Uh, it was a fun project. Uh, I'll start by going out over the outside of it for you. The front is machined out of acrylic and fire polish, so you can see the components inside. Uh, everything else is machined out of uh, aluminum, 6061 aluminum uh, T6. Uh, it was machined using an end mill. And then the quarter 20 hole at the bottom is to mount to any conventional tripod. And then the quarter 20 stud on top is to mount to your camera. And that stud is spring loaded because if you think about it, if it wasn't, when the camera was tight, it could be tightened at a weird angle. And so the, that it's, the fact that it's spring loaded uh, enables the camera to be tight through a full 360 degrees of rotation so you can get it straight on the platform. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the cover off and uh, talk about the components. All right, so now you can get a little bit better view of the components without the glare of the acrylic. Uh, you can see the shoulder, shoulder bolts used and bearings, uh, high precision bearings for the platform. Um, you can see those four screws on the top there are the screws to the spring cover for the platform. Uh, servo, we use the high tech 7950TH high torque digital servo, uh, the monstrous 486 ounce inches of torque which is insane even for a digital servo. Uh, we use an Atmel 88V microcontroller and the gyro is a SparkFun uh, gyro. It's 360 degrees per second and uh, that's about it. Um, turn it on for you guys. I'll put the cover back on and mount a camera to it and you can see it in action. So now I have the uh, camera mounted to the platform. Uh, you can mount any camera you want as long as the quarter 20 uh, mounting uh, receptacle. Uh, the, it's powered by a LiPo battery, a uh, 7.4 volt LiPo battery. Uh, and it's just a regular Dean's connector. Plugging it in turns it on. And uh, there we go, it's on. And it's in a stabilization mode. So you can see the single degree of freedom stabilization taking place. Uh, of course, it's not heading lock, so it's not uh, perfectly stable. It doesn't say perfectly level. It only matches, it only cancels out angular acceleration. So if you get it, it's kind of hard to do here with one hand. Let's set the camera down. Uh, see it stabilizing the camera there. And the, the frequency that the, that the system can stabilize that is almost directly proportional to how much torque the servo can put out. Put out. Of course, it's limited by the speed of the servo. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's definitely higher torque servo usually is, is which means uh, better stabilization. Uh, yeah, it's a fun project. That's about it. Uh, enjoy.